What's good y'all, Tristan here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you 12 Australian slang words in 90 seconds. And if you like this video and you want to learn more, well, I have a video with 100, a video with 50, and another video with 25 Australian slang words, all linked in the description below, so you can check those out. Alright, load up that cloth, strap yourself in, let's go, 12 Australian slang words in 90 seconds. Number one is an icy pole. In America, we would call this a popsicle. Number two is a bubbler or a drink tap. In America, we would call this a water fountain. Number three is a indicator. In America, we would call it a blinker. Four is bench, but not this type of bench. In Australia, bench can refer to a kitchen countertop, a countertop. We also call it the island or the kitchen island. Five is nappies, or in America, we know these as is diapers. Number six is black boys. And I know what you're thinking, don't worry. Black boys here just means this type of plant, but you can imagine the shock on my face when my boss told me he was going to go buy himself some black boys. Number seven we could really bring to America, and that is a 12 -y. A 12 is just someone around the age of 12, you know, 11, 10 to 14-ish, who just thinks they're top shit. You know those young teenagers who just think they're really something? Those people are 12-ies. Eight is up the duff, and up the duff is an unexpected pregnancy, kind of like got knocked up, up the duff. Number nine is spit the dummy. Spit the dummy just means like have a tantrum, throw a fit. And number 10 will help explain it a little more, and that is because a dummy is a pacifier, what we would call a pacifier in America. So when you spit the dummy, you're spitting out your pacifier. So yeah, throwing a fit. <laughs> Yeah, you get it. Number 11 is wag. Wag in Australia just means ditch. So in America, we ditch class. Here, you wag class. And number 12, I've mentioned in another video, and you can check that video out right there if you want, but I just realized there's so many more definitions than the one that I said. So yes, it does mean a disliked person, but to flog something can also mean to steal something, and to flog someone means to punch someone, like assault someone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.